Now your going to work section is exactly what it means. It's actually going to work, measuring and getting information set done. Okay. So you'll see here, there's a few icons here in the beginning. You see here survey. Now survey is your simple measuring and occupying locations. Okay. So when you click on survey, you have your point ID. Um, you can have a code here. Uh, just like the 1200, these screens are completely customizable in what you see here. Okay. So what we'll probably have for your group here is I'll change point ID and leave it here. We'll have code here so you guys can type in if you guys use codes. And here we'll see a 3D quality or a D. Okay. To take a shot, all you do is you press measure or you press this OK button right here. Okay. Now, uh, I should have mentioned this before, but OK does everything that this box does here, this top one here. All right? It does not mean enter. For example, if I wanted to uh, edit what this says up here, move that down. I don't want that. Um, if I hit enter, or this OK button here, it'll actually start measuring. It won't go down and edit that box, OK? You actually have to hit enter, which is right here. This is the back key. The other option here is stakeout. What stakeout is, and here it is, it's asking for that control job, which is you know your control points or the points that you imported in. Okay? Now I'm going to leave it as the same job. But in stakeout, this is how you find points, okay? So you're all you're gonna do is you're gonna select your point ID and which point you want to find. And it's gonna tell you down here with arrows, go left, go forward, go back, go right, go all the way down. Okay. Once you get to your location, you can hit measure, and you're ready to go. Now there's some little hidden features and uh, that might be kind of useful for you guys. I'm gonna zoom out here. You can see what I'm doing a little bit. If you hit this this function button, now you might you you're going to hear me say shift a lot because that's what all the other instruments are, always shift, but now they call it function. So if you hit this function key, you can see here we see configure. If you hit configure, you'll notice uh, we have a couple of, uh, of options here. Now if you go to the visual and audio tab, you click on here, you have your navigation method. All right. GPS doesn't know which way you're facing. It just knows you're at one point. It doesn't not like a robot where it knows okay you're facing that direction, you're facing that direction. It only knows you're in this location. It has no idea which way you're facing. So you have to tell it which way you're facing. So you have a few options of doing that. And the first option here says north. That's how most people like to do it. Is uh, it, it says okay go left go right in reference to north. Okay, but a lot of people don't know where north is, or they think they know where north is, and they're, they're circling themselves all day long. So there's other options. The one I like the best is to the sun. The sun always gives you a point. Okay? Yes, you're looking at the sun all day, but at least you know where it is and you can get to points faster. Not so good on a cloudy day. You can see it. Okay. Other options you have here are the last point you just measured, or to a point. So 205 is, you can say, okay, well, from 205, I can go back and left from there. Okay, so that might help you guys. Or to a line, which you do is you can put a line in there and say, okay, from this line, I'll offset this to here. Okay. But most people like to leave it on normal. Now you have two other options here, survey plus and stakeout plus. Okay. Now these are more advanced features. Instead of just measuring to a single point, okay, we want to measure to a line, we want to measure to a road, or any other, other features. I also talked about um, this instrument is going to be just before, which is latitude and longitudes. We are drawing somewhere in northern and easting. We need to get under that coordinate system. Okay, so that is under the survey plus location. Okay, so here we have our other features here. We have our volume calculations. Uh, we have a reference plane option. We have a measure to a line option here. And we also have these two functions down here. And they both do very similarly the same thing. And that's to get us onto our local coordinate systems. Okay? 
All right. Um, the difference between these two is um, with this feature, you measure all your points first, and then you shift them. And this one, you measure your control points top. Okay. So this is something that you guys do is uh, determine a coordinate system. And whenever you use GPS, no major and only real sources of error are within creating your coordinate system. Is measure the incorrect points, or someone has a linear control. Uh, stakeout plus, a lot of the same features. We can stake out to a line, we can stake out to a DTM, and all these other features. Okay. Um, Kogo. Um, when uh, you guys start doing a lot of coordinate geometry, you might want to steal any data collectors because this will make your life really nice. Um, because you can do inverses really quickly. And it actually it describes what each one's doing. So for example, this one says point to point. So we're going to tell the distance between two points. Or you can actually do, say, uh, point to a line, or point to an arc, or a curve, or you know, any kind of information here. Uh, so you can really uh, quickly calc out some information. Okay. Very, very powerful tools in here. You can do inverses, intersections, lines and arcs, all sorts of information here. You can even shift and rotate the whole entire project. Okay. For example, say you guys went out there with your toll station and you uh, rotated the wrong angle, you rotated left side or right, rotated everything upside down, you can actually fix all of your data here. 